MD Prepper here talking to you guys about another seed cache from CH Cadells or Bud K. This is the Ultimate Homestead Seed Cache uh, from the Crux series. It's got uh, 20 hermetically sealed uh, resealable packets of non-GMO um, heirloom seeds. This is the packet came in. I did a review a few weeks ago of some drought and heat resistant seeds in a smaller pack, which I thought was great here for the South and was well worth the 20 bucks. Uh, this whole setup costs uh, $29.95, I think it was, 30 bucks. And so, I figured I'd go through and show you all the choices that it came with. Um, start at one end and go from the other. We have got California Black Eyed Peas, aka Cow Peas. 150 seeds, um, 60 days until harvest. So that's not very long there. Very good source of protein there. Next we've got uh, Calabrese Broccoli, 1900 seeds, 50 days until harvest. So that's not very long. There you go there. Next, we have Detroit Dark Red Beets, 225 seeds, 60 days until harvest, so that's pretty quick as well. There you go. Next up, um, Large Red Cherry Tomatoes, Love Cherry Tomatoes, 850 seeds, 73 to 96 days until harvest. Not too thrilled about that, uh, but I do prefer cherry tomatoes over just the standard big ones, so perfectly decent there. Please ignore my dog making noise in the corner. Next, we have a Golden Summer Crookneck Squash. 42 seeds, 50 days until harvest, so that's reasonably quick right there. Next up, oh yeah, Georgia Southern Collards. Love these. These are great for cold weather growing. Uh, 3,125 seeds, 60 days until harvest. There you go. Good one. Keep going here. Clemson Spineless Okra. Yuck. Uh, 1,035 seeds. They had this in the last pack. Uh, Dying and made here at Clemson. Uh, upstate South Carolina who will be playing uh, for the championship here in a few days. 55 days until harvest. Um, I do not like okra, but uh, other people do. Whatever. Uh, next, Thorough Green Bush Lima Beans. 85 seeds, 58 days until harvest. So another protein source there. Next, we've got bib lettuce. Uh, I don't like lettuce in emergency garden kits. Lettuce is worthless. It's basically growing water and fiber. Um, there's virtually no calories. But 8,250 seeds, 45 to 60 days until harvest. I guess if you got some extra space and extra water and extra fertilizer and want to grow nothing, um, go right ahead. Um, I'd trade that away in a heartbeat. Next, Danvers 126 carat, 8,200 seeds, 70 days until harvest see that there. Don't know anything specifically about that type of carrot. Hopefully somebody can comment on it. Next we've got straight eight cucumber. Um, 170 seeds, 58 days to harvest. I'm also not a huge fan of cucumbers in emergency kits. Uh, cucumbers are easy to grow and they're a good crop to start growing from a garden, but there's almost no calories. Again, water, fiber, you know, whatever. Next uh, we've got purple top white globe turnip. 4,800 seeds, 55 days until harvest. There. Next, we've got a white icicle radish, 1,200 seeds, 20 to 25 days to harvest. That's super fast. Uh, I understand you generally plant those in colder weather too. Um, speaking of Siberian kale, uh, 2,520 seeds, 55 days until harvest. This is slightly better than lettuce, only slightly. Uh, but I'd rather grow kale than lettuce. Next, yes, puppy dog. Uh, next, we've got Black Beauty Eggplants, 1,360 seeds, 75 days until harvest. There you go. Next, we have another loser. We've got Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce, 8,250 seeds, 45 to 60 days until harvest. Again, I, if I was going to do something like this, I'd go with the kale. Uh, but hey, if you want lettuce, grow lettuce. It's your thing. Next up, another winner for me, Tender Green Mustard, uh, 4,400 and 40 seeds, 40 days until harvest. Again, another southern class had to go with those collards, some good mustard greens. So, good for cold weather growing as well. Next, we've got some sugar snap peas, 70 days until harvest. There's 104 seeds there. See that? Next, the only actual real fruit, I think, in this whole list other than the cherries, we've got some sugar baby watermelons, 100 seeds, 75 to 90 days until harvest. So that's a little on the longer side there. And last, and possibly my favorite, Early Jersey Wakefield Cabbage. 4,000 seeds, 50 days until harvest. So, there you go. That's all 20. Uh, overall, I think it's pretty good for 30 bucks. Um, I wish there were some more fruits in there. Maybe uh, 
cantaloupe or something like that, honeydew, I don't know. Uh, there's only, only real, we had tomatoes and uh, watermelon, which watermelon's fine. I think they could have thrown something in there. Maybe another type of cabbage would have been nice. Uh, skip on the lettuce, like the mustard greens. Again, radishes and turnips are pretty easy to grow, uh, makes sense. I would have probably liked to have seen some corn in here. Uh, some corn's you know, another grain source, basically, to go with your beans and all um, for your protein count. But I can't complain. Um, for 30 bucks. You know, a couple things I didn't like, but that's always going to be the case. Uh, obviously, you can pick and choose and individually buy your stuff, but if you want to buy something to uh, stack away and throw in a closet somewhere or a cabinet or a bug out location or a root cellar, not a bad idea. Let me know your thoughts, and especially if you know anything about these particular uh, strains and brands of uh, seeds. Indie Prepper out.